Before you filter your resin or re-level your printer, look at the nesting. Most failures start oh no. with peel forces. Every time your build plate lifts, that entire layer has to separate from the FEP film on your bed. Think of it like pulling two wet towels apart. If the surface area is large, the suction force is huge. That suction is what rips your print off the build plate or snaps your support's mid-print. Flat models, wide cross sections, or anything printed with a large surface area creates the strongest peel forces. That means more stress on your supports, more flex in the part, and a higher risk of the print detaching halfway through. The result, wasted time and resin, and worst case scenario, a damaged FEP. To fix this, just rotate the part. Your goal is to reduce how much of the model peels at once. So, tilt it by a few degrees so each layer has a smaller cross section as it lifts. Then, increase support density on the leading edge because that's where the suction force hits first. This one adjustment alone turns unstable prints into reliable ones. Follow for more nesting and troubleshooting tips. And if you want help optimizing your files, order designs from Evismart Cat.